Welcome, welcome, welcome to Master Modes Film Session. And it's brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sports booking app. Not only is it safe, but it is secure and most importantly, it's reliable. So if all of my first time users out there, if you use the promo code MOTES, you will receive up to $1,000 in deposit bonus money. Let me repeat that, $1,000 in deposit bonus money. So don't waste any time, download the app, use the promo code and let them know. You can get an opportunity to make some real money, baby. So like I said, the first play we're gonna talk about is the uh, PBU by Terrell Edmonds. And this is young Edmonds right there. Shout out to the kid. All right. Play this thing, baby. I'm so excited. All righty. So, first off, we got to talk about the coverage, right? All right, so... With the Steelers are running on defense, it's a Tampa 2. So it's very similar to cover 2, except they have one distinct difference with the uh, inside linebacker. So let me draw this up for you real quick. Edmonds, we talked about him as a safety, right? He's deep half that way. You're going to have Mika deep half the other way, okay? Joe's playing a little bit of off technique, but he's a squat corner. He's not giving up any ground, really. And then Nose is going to be doing the same, all right? This is Cam Sutton right here. He's going to be coming off the edge, okay? Then you have him, him, him. They're all in the rush. Mike Hilton, he's going to be vertical hook. And then Vince, this is Vince right here mugged up. He's going to be vertical hook, all right? And as your vertical hook players, oh, they'll just be off of the number two receiver. And the number two is right here and right here, okay? That's what vertical hook, V. H stands for, okay? And now the last person we have to talk about is who? Avery Williamson. And for him, he's what you call the middle runner, okay? So as the middle runner, it's exactly what it sounds like. His job is to protect the middle of the field, okay? Now as the middle runner, his rules are this. If it's two by two, which it is right here, right? You have two receivers over here, two receivers over here, then his job is to open up to number two, or to, excuse me, to speed, all right? So because this is a faster wide receiver, obviously, compared to this tight end right here, he's going to open up there because that guy can get to this spot faster than this guy can, okay? Now, if this running back was out here or over here, then he opens up, Avery would open up to the number three, okay? So that would be this tight end, or if this guy was over here, it'd be the third guy that way. So with all of that information being said, what does that do and what does that mean for Edmonds, means a couple of things. He can be super aggressive on any outbreaking route, okay? He doesn't have to worry about anything over here because this guy has the middle. He doesn't have to bite up on anything up here because this guy right here is your squat corner, okay? So, now that we have that, now we gotta talk about the actual route itself, right? So this is tight end right here, uh, Jake, or excuse me, Jack Doyle, running just a corner route, or what we like to call a seven cut, okay? So he's at the top, just bursting out. But this is great by Edmonds, all right? I want to rewind this real quick, and I want you guys, you can really see it from the end zone copy. So matter of fact, let's go there real quick, all right? Just watch his footwork right here stays in his shuffle the whole time. And right now, he doesn't have leverage on this tight end. But watch, as soon as the ball is snapped, the leverage he gets, man, this is great footwork, great technique. And watch, I mean, he just is patient. You can just see he understands what his job is. Right now, he's not worried about anything coming over here. He knows he has this guy right here. He also knows he has this vertical hook player right here. So that's why he's very patient. Now, this is where you want to be. This is beautiful position right here, man. Anything that's breaking out, he's going to get it, right? And the big knock on Edmonds has been what? Ball skills, right? Go and get the ball. Let's freeze it right here. What, what is that? <laughs> I give you a smiley face. Hold on. That's, that's a smiley face right there, baby. <laughs> Jeez, this is beautiful, man. Now, the only reason he doesn't finish it 
as good as a play as this is by Evans, it's an even better finish by Doyle right here. Man, he shoots his hands up. This is textbook. If you're a, a defender in that position, trail position, that is textbook right there, man. Play uh, play through the uh, through the receiver's hands, essentially, and that's what he did, man. But awesome job by Edmonds from start to finish, man. Understanding the disguise, and we'll talk about disguise, so I'm going to get back to that. But, man, just standing in the shuffle, this is beautiful, man. Textbook. And then believing it. You believe it. You know in the red zone, man, the routes are going to happen fast. You don't have a lot of time for double moves. You don't have a lot of time for, uh, I mean, anything that's going to be too vertical, obviously, because you know the end zone is what? You got the 10 yards right there, so they can only run but so far. So Edmonds playing that play the way he did, man, I just thought that showed, number one, his overall above the net game, right? This is a smart football play. And then just his athletic ability in terms of, Beating the, the beating the tight end to the ball, man. But big picture right here, what the Steelers are doing, I really like this a lot. It's called a simulated pressure. It actually, before I talk about the simulated pressure, let me check this chat real quick. Okay, okay, okay. I see y'all in the building, man. Y'all making me happy, man. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> All right, let's get back. So getting back to this uh, simulated pressure, the reason why I love simulated pressures is this. A lot of times you hear them, them talk about, man, you don't want to blitz this quarterback. You don't want to blitz this guy because they know if the pressure is coming from this way, okay, they're just going to throw it. You know, they, They'll throw right into the pressure because you know if he's leaving, there's going to be a hole there. But with the simulated pressure, this is what happens, okay? It gives you the illusion that multiple people are going to be rushing, but a uh, 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 blitz is five or more people, okay? A simulated pressure is only going to be four people rushing. But what it does is it makes that quarterback, it makes that offensive line feel as if they have to hurry up. They feel as if it's pressure and that they are down a man. So it makes them do things that they necessarily wouldn't do under normal circumstances. So the simulated pressure is this, okay? You see one, two, three, four, five people right there, right? Cam Sutton's blitzing. So you would think that that's five people. That should be a blitz. But it's not because Vince Williams is the guy that's dropping out of this thing, okay? Once he drops out, we'll freeze frame it. And you'll see, man, it's literally just four people. Now, Hilton, I love what Hilton's doing right here, man. Because what do we know about Mike Hilton? We all, Anybody that knows Pittsburgh defense knows Mike Hilton is elite at blitzing. So what does he give you? He gives you Hollywood over here. He makes Phillip Rivers believe that he is going to blitz him. I love this by him. And Minka doesn't address him. Minka stays flat-footed, cheated down, making it look like what? Minka has that guy. So right now, if you're Phillip Rivers, what does this look like? One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like you got six guys coming, and you only have what? One, two, three, four, five people blocking because everybody else is in a route. So it makes Phillip have to hurry up when in all actuality, this guy, as we already said, right? Half over here, half over here, okay? Nobody, right here, dropping out of there, dropping out of there. So even though Cam Sutton is rushing, it's still only four guys in the rush. So we call this a simulated pressure because it's, you can get to it in many ways, right? You can have the safety blitz if you want to and have somebody replace him in coverage. You can have a corner blitz. Obviously, we have the slot corner right here blitz. It's a lot of things that you can do to create a simulated pressure. You can go strong side, weak side, inside, it does not matter. But the big part is you gotta know, okay, if this guy's rushing, somebody has to drop out. And coordinators, when you get in the red zone, they're either gonna blitz you, they, they love to do things to hurry you up. They either wanna max blitz you, they'll simulate pressure you, or they're gonna go the alternative and they'll just do a three-man rush and drop eight. Those are the different ways you combat getting into the condensed field like this. And that's why even in Pittsburgh, our offense struggles sometimes once you get in the red zone because, man, you just got a lot more bodies to deal with, man. And it's, it's different in terms of your, your play menu and stuff like that. But this simulated pressure, man, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then great finish. 